Just because the governor says so, that doesn't mean anything to me. That's John Postema. He's the owner of Flower World in Maltby, and we talked to him in June when he banned employees from wearing masks. At that point, he was under investigation by Labor and Industries. Fast forward to July 28th, Postema is now facing a $4,200 fine. In this case, the complaints that we received were that uh, employees were being told they could not wear masks. And I think that's what stood out. Tim Church from LNI says fines come from a variety of factors and all businesses aren't fined the same. It all starts with a complaint. Labor and industries handle complaints from businesses that don't need a specific license, like a nursery, but a barber shop that would be handled by the Department of Licensing. A bar or restaurant that'd be handled by the State Liquor and Cannabis Board. LNI has a tiered system for determining violations and fines. General, serious, and willfully serious. Flower World's case is a serious violation. Church says it was the lack of social distancing, not doing temperature checks, and the banning of masks that earned the fine. This was a situation that the employees were not only told uh, that uh, they could or could not, they were told that they should not wear masks on the job. And uh, um, that was concerning to them. Businesses do get a right to appeal that fine. And in an email, John Postema tells me that is exactly what he's going to do. He sent me this. It's a 99-page appeal to the LNI violations. He defends that he provided a safe and healthy workspace and followed OSHA and state guidelines, saying, quote, LNI does not have the legal authority to create rules out of thin air. For King 5 News, I'm Vanessa Mishanya.